Hi, this is Jackson Rogers, also known as Lenny Agony, and in this video I'm going to show you how to rig or skin your final low poly mesh and import it into Dota 2 using 3ds Max 2012. Uh, to get started, you want to have your finished model, and this is my low poly here. It's a weapon called Shadow Brand for Chaos Knight. Uh, it's 350 tries, uh, which you can see in the top left corner, a small counter. If you'd like a counter like this as well, uh, you just right click on this tiny little cross in the top left corner, go to Configure, configure Viewports, uh, the Statistics tab, and then you go to Triangle Count, Selection, and Show Statistics in Active View, and press OK. Uh, whenever I export a model from 3ds Max to Dota, I make sure that I have a standard shader applied to my model. If I have a more advanced one, which I do now, which is the three-point shader, uh, it shows up as transparent in the game. So before I'm going to export, I just grab a standard Max shader. With my model selected, I right-click and assign that standard shader to my mesh, which you can see is now grey. And now I want to import the bones and the the default weapon that comes with Chaos Knight. You can download this from the Dota 2 website and uh, I just go to File at the top, Import and Import. Then just find your file which will be within the Chaos Knight directory, Models, Heroes, Chaos Knight. Uh, I import the SMD and I import uh, CKWeapon.SMD open. Do OK on pre-pass and to do this you need to have the SMD file importer installed. It doesn't naturally come with 3ds Max and you can see right here in the top about panel it comes from wonderboy.org. You can just go down there and download it straight away. It's free and it's great. Uh, on this option panel I use all of these options here and I just do convert from left-handed coordinate space and then import and OK. Within your viewport you should be able to see uh, this mess of bones here and the default weapon that Chaos Knight usually runs around with. So uh, what you want to do is you want to align your weapon with the default weapon and most importantly you want to make sure the grip where the weapon uh, is held by Chaos Knight or whichever character you're creating a weapon for is aligned with the grip of the default so that it'll line up with his hand in game. This feels pretty good now, looks like it's it's lined up pretty closely to the original and for this weapon I want to make sure that the particle effect which is usually in this small hole is also lined up on this section of the mesh. So once you're happy with how that's looking, I will uh, move my move my pivot point to zero zero, and to do that, go to the hierarchy tab on your top right, and then effect pivot only, and then I just zero out my x y z coordinates. Then I turn off Effect Pivot Point and go to the End tab Utilities and I reset my X form which would reset all of your transforms. So I do Reset Selected. Then I go back to my Modify tab, right click in my stack and do Collapse All and Yes. So now the pivot point of your object is set to 0, zero and it won't, if it's not set to 0, zero you'll find that it, it has a good chance of erroring and floating out beside the character or doing all kinds of odd stuff. So just you know, set it to 0 and, and change that. And now it's as simple as adding in the modifier tab, add a skin modifier and then click add within the modifier and you want to select weapon 1-0 for Chaos Knight. They do have the weapons bone listed on the requirements page on the Dota 2 website. Uh, go and check that and make sure that you're rigging it to the correct bone. It's really important. 
and that's it your weapon is now rigged so if you just open the skin modifier in your modifier tab and then click on envelope you'll see that your entire weapon turns red and all the vertices are also red and all this means is that the one bone that you have skinned to your model has a hundred percent influence on every vertice on the mesh and that's what you want to see in this case uh, from here you can just select your model and then select the bone as well so you want the the model mine is called Shadowbrand uh, low poly so you select your low poly model and also the bone so you want the, the model and the bone selected so weapon one zero shadow brand okay and then you go to file export and export selected and this will just export your low poly mesh and the one bone I export it as you can name it whatever you want here Oh, I exported as FBX to save and these are the options I use for my export uh, I don't think it's anything special really but uh, do take note and then I just do OK so if everything went well you should be able to load up Dota then you go to the store workshop publish new submission wearable item uh, you can type whatever you want in here I'm just going to chuck that in select your hero so in this case Chaos Knight load out the weapon uh, this is the important part so now you want to find the FBX file that you exported I always export them in the same, exactly the same format as the, oh, the, exactly the same directory structure as the models that you download from the Dota website. So I do the, the character name and then you have models and so on. And then you need to put your texture file in here. Uh, you can see the directory structure here. I have models, materials, models, heroes. Chaos Knight and then bring them in and then all you have to do is press import and if everything went well you will see import successful all you have to do is press OK and your weapon will be there uh, well hopefully be there uh, if you have any problems now you need to go back and try and troubleshoot them and get back to this point but uh, I really love this moment when you can actually see it in the game and everything's come together, it's, it's pretty great. Uh, don't forget to check out the uh, options up here for previewing. You can do a very quick kind of game perspective with nighttime as well. But one of the best ones is uh, pretty new is the in-game preview, which I will show you now. And there you have it. So if you do have any problems or you need a hand, feel free to add me on the Steam Workshop as Lenny Agony or you can email me at jacksonrogers at live.com. You can also leave a message on this YouTube video. Thanks for watching.